because you got to um, share, you know, your story in this book, what was that writing process for you? Because I know there's a lot of people who listen to this. They're like, yeah, I want to write a book. I want to, you know, go through this. What was that like? Was it like, were you stressed? Like, was it hard? Was it like, what was that like for you? Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm like you said earlier, we we're kind of harshest to the people we love the most. So I'm, I'm super hard on myself. Like <laughs> I'll give you grace all day or my kids or my, the people I work with. But then when it comes to me, I'm like, no, nope, got to do better. Got to keep pushing. Yeah. Um, so when I got the offer in initially, your my first thought was like, yeah, I can do something like that. But then I immediately after, you know, I don't even finish the first thought. The next one comes in. No, you can't. <laughs> Who wants to hear from David Domena, right. steam teacher in Southern California, you know, like, teaching for nine years what do i know about anything so um i kind of had to work through that uh, imposter syndrome type of stuff and uh, but the process was pretty seamless allison was amazing to work with she's always available so i did have questions like well what do i do with this and um finally she she just told me you know get something on paper get something out there and, and we can work with whatever you put together if it's really bad i'm going to tell you it's really bad and if it's really great i'm going to tell you it's really great so that kind of pushed me to like stop second guessing myself so much, just sit down, bang something out and submit it. And then I was perfectly okay with, um, with you guys coming back being like, we like the title and that's it, you know, start from scratch, do and start right, all over. Right. <laughs> or I, I was open to the other way too. Maybe they're going to love it. Who knows? We'll see. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and there's notes, you know, you always got to change some things around. I'm not a professional author by any means. So, um, but everything I got was very constructive and I was able to build off of that and kind of uh, implement some more like specific stories Allison asked for or kind of, I would kind of trail off on a story or a tangent and she like, here, let's cut that off and bring it back. And hmm. so it was, uh, it was much more concise than I, than I kind of anticipated. You know, so um, like I'm co-owner of her, like not only, you know, obviously Alice and I are like leading on this book, mostly Alice and I want to give her all the credit in the world because I kind of came up with the concepts and then her and I fleshed everything out. I'm like, Hey, now you have to run with the rest of it too. And she's absolutely amazing and just incredible. But one of the things that we talk about all the time, you want the criticism before the book is released, not after. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to hear that sucked. If I want to hear it sucked, I want to hear it before. And then right. not when it's on the shelf somewhere. Yeah, but when it's, you know, when it's, it feels like, I know it sounds weird. It feels like it's written in, like it's literally written in stone. It might as well, because it's like, it's on a book, that's it. So yeah, it's out there. That, I think that mentality is really helpful. And you know, that, that openness to that is, is really, really important.